Ah, the 80s. Good times, man. I remember them vividly. I grew up in the 80s and 90s. I was born in 77, so many of my earliest memories are of uh, the culture and the history of things in the 80s. And so we're checking out the channel Quizzes for You, uh, and they're doing this uh, trivia about can you remember the 80s? Now, like I've done with some of their history quizzes, I'm going to try to throw out the answer. I'm going to see if I can be quick enough to get the answer before they give the choices, but there's not a lot of time. It's pretty split second. My memories of those events might take a little bit longer to access, but uh, the link is in the description if you want to check that out or any of their other fun quizzes that they have. Let's go ahead and dive into Can You Remember the 80s? Welcome back to the 80s. It's been a while since we were here, so let's see how much you can remember for this quiz. Are you ready? Here we go. Which of these technologies oh, they're already showing the, the choices. DVD, compact disc, or cassette tape? Compact disc. I remember using CDs in uh, the early 90s. And the correct answer there, the compact disc. And back then we had, uh, it was a big deal when you were able to get a portable CD player and you had to get one that had skip protection. And what that meant was that, because uh, if you, like, were, like I ran cross country in high school, if you were listening to music while you were running, you know, it would cause it to skip, right? So the skip protection would read ahead so that it would avoid those skips. And that uh, was great technology. I've had the time of my life was used as a theme song for which film? Dirty Dancing. Plane, the time of my dancing. life. That's um, Bill Medley from The Righteous Brothers and Jennifer Warner, I think is her name. Um, she did a couple of really big duets back in the day. And the correct answer is Dirty Dancing. Such a good song. Where is Cop Axel Foley from in Beverly Hills Cop? He's from Detroit. Is he from Detroit, Los Angeles, or Dallas? Oh, he's played by um, Eddie Murphy. Iconic music. Name the global stock market crash of October 1987. Was it Black Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? It was Black Monday, wasn't it? I think it was Black Monday. And it was Black Monday. Which is not a famous Arnold Schwarzenegger 80s movie quote. I'll be back, get to the chopper, or I'm the king of the world. <laughs> I'm the king of the world, that's from Titanic, that's Leonardo DiCaprio. I'll be back is from Terminator. Get to the chopper, I don't remember what that's from. But oh my gosh, he was such a huge star in the 80s. Some of the best movies uh, that I can remember from that time. Uh, you have, oh my gosh, you know, obviously the Terminator films, but then you've got uh, movies like Commando, which is a classic. Uh, I let him go, you know, talking about uh, the guy, the character of Sully, which he told him, uh, Sully said, you said you were going to kill me last. And he said, I lied because he's hanging him over the side of a cliff. Uh, oh man, so good. And I bet you're thinking the likeness there is unbelievable. <laughs> okay, the answer is, I'm the king of the world. What became the highest selling single computer model of all time after its release in 1982? The Macintosh. The 400, Apple Macintosh, or the Commodore 64? But I had a Commodore 64, loved it. And it was the Commodore 64. Oh, it was. Dang, okay. Yeah, I had one as a kid. That was my first computer. And you had to get the disk drive separate. And the disk drive, like for the for the floppy disk drive, was like over a foot long. It was massive. Who was involved in a lip syncing scandal at the end of the 80s? Millie Vanilli. Bangles, Millie Vanilli, or Wham? Yeah, one of those guys has since passed away. And girl, you know it's true. The answer is Millie Vanilli. <laughs> girl, you know it's true. They had these long dreadlocks and yeah, totally lip synced it. Which space shuttle was the first to reach space when Columbia. it launched in 1981? Was it Columbia, Discovery, or Atlantis? Which unfortunately has since disintegrated on re-entry, killing all the astronauts on board. And the answer, Columbia. American band The Bangles encouraged us to walk like what? Walk like an Egyptian, an Egyptian. Freak, or penguin? Listen. I grew up, like, as a kid, the place to go, especially, like, when, in my teen years in middle school, 
was we went to the skating rink on Friday nights. That was where everybody hang, hung out, right? And they would play this music. And, like, so many of these, these songs from the 80s are, like, embedded in my memory in connection to the skating rink. Had my first kiss at the skating rink. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. And the answer is, look like an Egyptian. Which 80s comedy film Turner and Hooch. And a large dog. Was it Big, Risky Business, or Turner and Hooch? Those are all Tom Hanks movies. Or no, wait, Risky Business was not Tom Hanks. That was Tom Cruise. And it is Turner and Hooch. In The Fool Guy, what was the daytime profession of the main character, Colt Seavers? Was he a stuntman, racing driver, or lifeguard? I think he's a stuntman. I vaguely remember that show. There's so many other shows I remember better. Which of these hit the headlines when it erupted on the 18th of May, 1980? Mount St. Helens. Mount Fuji, Mount Vesuvius, or Mount St. Helens? Oh, that was big. That was one of my early... I think that is my earliest memory. Correct answer there, Mount St. Helens. Of a historic event. Name the cloth dolls with plastic heads that were very popular in the 80s. Cabbage Patch Kids. Love Babies, Brats, or Cabbage Patch Kids. They had the signature of Xavier Roberts on the butt of those. I had one. And they are Cabbage Patch Kids. They came with a birth certificate and you would like fill out for the adoption of this child and everything. And they were like impossible to find at Christmas time. It was a big, big, big deal at the time. Which character dies Goose. in the original Top Gun movie? Charlie, Goose, or Iceman? Anthony Edwards' character. Anthony Edwards, is, it's kind of cool because like the first role that I really remember him from is... Uh, in Revenge of the Nerds, right? Which was an iconic movie from the 80s. There's so many of them. I'm surprised they haven't remade that yet. Um, maybe they think it's politically incorrect now. I mean, some of the scenes in that movie definitely would be uh, today. But um, but then he goes on to play Goose. He plays uh, Dr. Green and ER. And the answer is Goose. In 1982, Toto sang Africa, the continent. Asia, Europe, or Africa? <sighs> And listen, if you're ever into watching like people doing cover songs, Mike Massey uh, has this cover of him and his friend, his bass player, doing Africa at a pizza joint somewhere, I think like in Utah or something. It might be the best cover song of all time. I mean, it's so, so good. It's Africa. It's going to take a lot to drag me and away what a great song you. it is. The answer is Africa. Name the lower calorie, lower fat frozen dinners first launched in 1981. Lean cuisine. Calorie kickers, lean cuisine, or slender suppers. Never heard of the other two. I don't even know if they exist. And the correct answer there, lean cuisine. In Knight Rider, what's the artificially intelligent car that assisted Kit. the night? Is it the General Lee, Kit, or GTO? So the General Lee is actually the, the car from the Dukes of Hazard, which is another fantastic 80s TV show. But, uh, yeah, this is um, David Hasselhoff as Michael Knight. So good. So good. And it is Kit. Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Clyde. Pac-Man. Which video game? Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, or Pac-Man? Oh, man. Classic, classic games. And they are in Pac-Man. In TV series ALF, what did ALF stand for? Artificial life form, animal liberation front, or alien life form? Alien life form. Another really good 80s show. Man, I remember ALF so well. It stands for alien life form. Which of these was invented in the 80s? Disposable diapers or nappies in the UK, disposable plates or disposable cameras? Disposable cameras. It's got to be. And the only one of those that was invented in the 80s is disposable cameras. Who scored the famous Hand of God goal? Maradona. In the 86 FIFA World Cup quarterfinals. Was it Ian Rush, Diego Maradona or Gary Lineker? Definitely Diego Maradona. Just passed away in the last couple of years. And it was Diego Maradona. Which of these was not made fashionable in the 80s? Jelly shoes, leg warmers, or bell bottoms? Bell bottoms go and back earlier than the 80s. Business. Oh my gosh, jelly shoes. I forgot those were a thing. Holy cow. Leg warmers, bright, like you see the, a lot of hot pink, right? 
uh, especially late 80s, early 90s, like fluorescent colors were a big, big deal. Big hair, um, parachute pants were a thing. You see that in um, MC Hammer's video. Uh, he's wearing what we call parachute Thumbs pants. Up. It really does help. The correct answer there is bell bottoms. Who did the World Watch get him married on July the 29th, 1981? Charles and Diana. Connor and Sean Penn, Johnny Cash and June Carter, or Prince Charles and Lady Diana? How'd that work out? And it was Prince Charles and Lady Diana. Who released the album Appetite for Destruction in 1987? Guns N' Roses. Was it Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith, or Bon Jovi? All huge bands in the 80s, though, but it's Guns N' Roses. And it was Guns N' Roses. What nickname was given to the strategic defense system Star Wars. by Ronald Reagan in the 80s? Was it Star Wars, Star Games, or Star Trek? What this was, was it was an attempt to basically create a system in space that would be early warning and, and an anti-nuclear um, weapon defense. A shield in space, Wars, basically. Star Wars. Who sang? Girls just want to have fun. Cindy Lauper. Was it Cindy Lauper, Winnie Houston, or Madonna? Girls just want to have fun. Oh man, bring me back. And it was Cindy Lauper. Who recorded the 80s charity song? Do they know it's Christmas? We are the world. Live Aid or Band? It's Live Aid. So we are the world, man. That like it's one of those like all time memories for me is is that was such a huge deal when that song we are the world came out and had like all these big names you can find the video online uh on youtube uh gosh wow then live aid was of course where you had the iconic performance by queen who many people consider to be the greatest live performance of all time was their performance at live aid which was only like a little over 20 minutes long And it was by Band-Aid. Oh, Band- Really? Which I never even heard of Band-Aid. I mean, I know Live Aid was a- was the- Dang. JT's model was the woman in red with Gene Wilder. Was it Claudia Schiffer? Kelly LeBrock's Cindy gotta Crawford, be, right? Or Kelly LeBrock? It's gotta be Kelly LeBrock. I think she ended up married to Steven Seagal for a while. And the answer, Kelly LeBrock. Which American president survived an assassination attempt Reagan. in 1981 by John Hinckley Jr.? He's out now. Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, or Bill Clinton? They released him. And it was Ronald Reagan. That's not a knife, that's a knife. Crocodile Rainbow Dundee. Movie. Was it the Karate Kid, Crocodile Dundee, or Rambo First Blood? Listen, first of all, all of these are fantastic movies, but Crocodile Dundee, like these guys come up and try to mug him, and they, they, they're, the person who's with him is like, but he's got a knife, and he's like, that's not a knife. That's a knife. That was like a classic line, and people quoted that all the time. And I checked the film. He definitely doesn't say, this is a knife. And it's from Crocodile Dundee. Who played James Sonny Crockett in the TV series Miami Vice? Don Peter Johnson. Michael Thomas, David Soul, or Don Johnson? Who, Don Johnson and Melody Griffith's daughter was the star of Fifty Shades of Grey, I think. And it was Don Johnson. Which film featured the characters Jake and Elwood reunited Blues with Brothers. the band? Roadhouse, The Blues Brothers, or Footloose? John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd, another like iconic 80s thing, right? Roadhouse is Patrick Swayze and Sam Elliott are in that movie. And that's another one that like you'll see on TV all the time. Such a classic 80s thing. Footloose, of course, Kevin Bacon. Um, all, all great movies. And it was those good old Blues Brothers. Who sang We Didn't Start the Fire Billy Joel. a list of historical events? Was it Brian Adams, Billy Joel, or Elton John? People keep asking me on Vlogging Through History to do a breakdown of that song, and I'll do it at some point. But uh, if, if you're not familiar with We Didn't Start the Fire, he basically just goes year by year through history, starting in the 50s, uh, maybe even in the 40s. 
Um, let's see, Harry Truman, Doris Day, Red China, Johnny Ray, South Pacific, Walter Winchell, Joe DiMaggio, Joe McCarthy, Richard Nixon, Studebaker, Television, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Uh, and, and then he goes, uh, you know, over these years. And then, of course, once they get to like the 70s and 80s, they kind of jump through real quick. And then the chorus goes, we didn't start the fire. Uh, but uh, I, I pride myself on the fact that at a very early age, my daughter, just as a small child, knew all of the words to that song. Ah, oh, such a good song. As a history person, you have to love that song, really. Joel, who was Prime Minister of the United Kingdom for the entire 80s. Margaret Thatcher! John Major, Tony Blair, or Margaret Thatcher. I think John Major and Tony Blair came after her. And it was the Iron Lady, Margaret Thatcher. In the TV show Airwolf... It's a helicopter. Was, was it an eagle, a fighter jet, or a helicopter? I really don't remember that show. I just remember that it was a helicopter. And it was a helicopter. Who became the final leader of the Soviet Union? Mikhail Gorbachev. Gorbachev, Yeltsin, or Chernenko? Yeltsin led Russia after the collapse of the Soviet Union. And the answer there, Gorbachev, who had a hit in 1983 with Holiday. Was it George Michael, Madonna, or Shaka Khan? Gotta be Shaka Khan because I don't remember that being a George Michael or a Madonna song. And it was Madonna. Really? Who is the main... Of all the songs that I'm familiar with of Madonna's, I don't remember that one. Main antagonist is antagonist Marty. In the Back to the Future film. Is it Marty, Doc Brown, or Biff? Played by Michael J. Fox, who actually was a replacement for Eric Stoltz, who was the original actor who was cast and actually started filming that role. And the correct answer is Biff. Oh, and antagonist. <laughs> I'm an idiot. The antagonist is a bad guy. It was Biff. Protagonist would be Marty. Name the oil tanker that caused a massive environmental disaster in Alaska in 1989. Was it Deepwater Horizon, Maersk, Alabama, or Exxon Valdez? This was a huge deal at the time. I remember this. I mean, and this the was is... this was like at least that I can remember. I mean, I know that the environment has been in the news a lot even before this event, but this is the first time I can remember like a massive environmental catastrophe in my lifetime that really dominated the news for a long time. Exxon Valdez. Which TV show was about the New York City High School Fame. performing arts? Fame, Wait. 21 Jump Street, or Moonlighting? It's not 21 Jump Street. I think it's Fame. And the answer is Fame. Okay, so if you could... All right, that was fun. That was interesting. Let me know your thoughts. What do you remember about the 80s? Uh, there's so many things. I mean, just the music and the movies alone are just... Uh, I've actually done a video where I ranked... Uh, my favorite movies from the 1980s, and I'll throw up a link to that if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.